enhance your basketball training. Welcome back to Street Ball Strategy. Yeah, we got joy. And if it all comes tumbling down right now, we got joy. Black girl, black boy. Yeah, we keep joy. So basketball training is hard. Training in general is hard. Getting into shape is hard. Losing weight is hard. Putting on muscle is hard. Any extraordinary goal worth working towards is hard. And there's two components that make doing such things so difficult. One is duration. So it's gonna take a long time. If we're talking about training, if we're talking about getting into shape, you can train and exercise properly. You can, you can eat perfectly, right? And no matter how perfect you are, it's still gonna take a long period of time. And there's nothing you can really do about that. Secondly is the intensity. It's just not easy. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be difficult. And there's nothing you can really do about that either. So how can we improve this? How can we enhance this experience? Even though it takes a long time and it's really hard, how can we improve this? Well, for those of you who know me and know this channel and have been around a long time, you guys probably already know the answer, but for those of you who don't, it's all about perspective. Yes, I talk about perspective a lot on this channel because number one, it's underrated, and number two, it just works. It noticeably works and can improve your game and your mentality noticeably. You really can see results, positive results, benefits from changing your perspective. So let's talk about how we can do that, changing our perspective to enhance our training experience. So what are we talking about this time in terms of perspective? What we're talking about this time is enjoyment, enjoying what you're doing, whether it's training or eating, whatever it is you're trying to do that is difficult, it is possible to do something that takes a long time and is difficult and to enjoy it at the same time. When we're talking about getting into shape, when we're talking about getting back into basketball shape because it's spring here in Michigan and I'm trying to get back in basketball shape. So when we're addressing issues like that, there's two components. There's the training and there's the nutrition. So let's go over the training first. When we talk about enjoyment, there's two ways to find it in your training and your nutrition and any kind of goal you have that's difficult. Ideally, you would find both components of enjoyment, but really you only need one to make it work and to be good enough. When we're talking about training and how difficult it can be, find ways of training that is enjoyable to you. Uh, and everybody's going to train differently, right? Because everybody has different games and everybody has different strengths and weaknesses that they're working on. So everybody's training is going to be different. What you're trying to do is find ways to train that is enjoyable. So personally for me, I really like weight training. I like resistance training. It feels good for me to do that. So fortunately for me, because I enjoy it, I do it on a regular basis over and over again. And because of that, I see improvements, I see benefits, I see results, and I also enjoy those as well. But in terms of basketball and improving my game and my training, I can't just do resistance training and have that translate to how I play out here. I also need conditioning, which means cardio. And I don't like cardio, I never have. It doesn't feel good to me to do cardio. So I like weight training, that's not a problem for me, but I hate cardio. So how do I address that problem? Well, the first thing I would do is say, well, I gotta find a form of cardio that I enjoy so I can do that to get myself in shape. And believe me, I've tried, I've done my research over decades and there's nothing. I don't like cardio, any form, any variation whatsoever. But what I found through my experimentation of cardio is what gives me the best results is running. So I run. I don't like it. It doesn't feel good to me. But when I run as opposed to other forms of cardio, when I run on a regular basis, I get in shape faster. My conditioning gets better faster. I get leaner 
faster. It just works best for me in terms of results. So even though I don't like doing it, the act of doing it, I do really enjoy the results that doing that yields to me. And so I'm able to do it over and over again because I enjoy the results. So when it comes to training, ideally you would find a version, a way of training that you enjoy and that you like, and then you would see the benefits from doing that training, you would like that as well. But even if there isn't a version of whatever training you need to do that you enjoy, find what works best for you, find what gives you the best results, and really enjoy that really take those benefits in those results in really internalize them enjoy them find enjoyment in them ideally you would have both but one is good enough internalize it enjoy it and repeat it over and over again and you will see the benefits and it will enhance your training the same exact principle applies when we're talking about the way you eat your nutrition so you don't have to just eat you know chicken breast and broccoli and rice all day every day if you don't enjoy it it's not supposed to be torturous none of this is supposed to be torturous it's not supposed to make you feel terrible you're supposed to enjoy it and in today's world that we live in in terms of food you can find healthy things to eat that taste good to you that you'll eat over and over again and enjoy you don't have to make yourself miserable when it comes to how you eat in order to get into shape. There is no excuse when it comes to that, when it comes to saying, oh, the, I, you know, there's nothing I enjoy eating, so I can't eat properly, I can't eat healthily because there's nothing I enjoy. There's all kinds of variations that are healthy, that are foods that you enjoy. And if there's somehow not, if like all you like to eat is like donuts and chicken nuggets, then you need to, <laughs> you need to expand your palate. I, I'm sorry, that's all there is to it. You have to get better. You have to expand. You have to find things that taste good and are healthy for you. And that's another key part to this process, which is you actually have to put in the time and effort into finding what you enjoy. It's gonna take time, it's gonna take effort, it's gonna take you experimenting to find out what it is you enjoy when it comes to training, when it comes to eating, when it comes to food. You have to figure out what you enjoy because once you find those things, they will have so much value to you over time because you will repeat those things and from those things you'll branch out and find even more things that you enjoy. So you'll just start expanding sort of this universe of enjoyment and repeating those things over and over again to the point where now you just live a life of enjoyment. It's a lifestyle. You'll find ways to train that you enjoy and then from those things you'll find other things that you enjoy, other ways to train that you enjoy. You'll find foods that you like that you enjoy and from those foods you'll find you'll branch out and you'll find other foods that you like and that you enjoy and you'll incorporate them into how you eat and before you know it you'll just be living this lifestyle of enjoyment that includes the way you train and the way you eat and it will become a lifestyle and it's easy relatively to do that because the way you train you like it it's enjoyable the way you eat you like it it's enjoyable and so when it's enjoyable it's easy to do and it's easy to repeat and it's easy to live that way i mean really that's what we're trying to do here right we're trying to build a life of enjoyment we're trying to enjoy the things that we do the way we spend our time just because something like training and getting in shape for basketball or whatever just because that goal is difficult and the process to getting there is long and difficult doesn't mean that it can't also be enjoyable and if we can build a life of enjoyment around how we do that isn't that the way you would prefer to go instead of torturing yourself? 
Like I said, I don't enjoy running, but I do do it as often as I possibly can because it's not something that I dread doing. It's not like I wake up in the morning and think to myself, oh man, I gotta run at some point today. This is gonna suck. I don't even like give it a second thought. I just go running because that's part of my lifestyle. I don't really enjoy the run itself, but I enjoy the benefits that it gives me and so I just do it. It's just part of my routine. It's part of my lifestyle. I found a way to enjoy it, so I do it and I do it as often as I can and I like it and I'm happy. And look, here's the deal. I'm kind of an outlier, right? And I don't, I'm not saying that in like a bragging kind of way. It's almost the opposite actually, which is like no one I know trains and works out and exercises the way I do. No one I know eats and has the kind of nutrition idea and plan that I do. I'm the only one and it's kind of lonely and it kind of separates me from the other people in my life, but not necessarily in a bad way. It's just the way I choose to live my life. It's the way I like to live. I enjoy it. Like I'm being healthy and I'm happy and I enjoy the process that I put myself through in order to get there. And for me, that's perfectly fine. It's perfectly acceptable. I don't expect other people around me to have my vision, to, to see what I see, to want what I want, to do things the way I do things. Because it's, it's my vision. It's my way of life. It's how I enjoy myself. I'm being healthy and I'm being happy. I'm putting in hard work. I'm seeing improvement. I'm getting better. And I'm enjoying doing it. Just because it takes a long time, just because it's difficult, doesn't mean that it can't be enjoyable. And it is. And this video, this message, it's not just for basketball. It's not just for getting in shape. It can be for anything, any kind of goal that you have that's difficult to get to. The point is you're trying to get to that goal because that goal is going to make you a happier, more satisfied person and just because it's going to take a long time to get there just because it's difficult to get there doesn't mean you can't enjoy it so work hard take your time and enjoy the process figure out how to enjoy it thank you guys for watching uh, i hope this video was informative and helpful if it was a thumbs up would be great and if you could subscribe to the channel that would be awesome because that really does help me out also, make sure that if you do enjoy this content, if you do enjoy this kind of information, if you find it helpful, make sure you hit that notification bell because that's what we do here. Uh, it's all about using philosophy and mentality in order to improve the way you play basketball. Summer is coming and that's when I have the most fun on this channel because I feel like I make the best videos. So make sure you're subscribed and you have your notifications set so you're notified when those videos come out. And I will see you guys next week. We keep joy. And if it all comes tumbling down right now, we got.